Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Basics of Nodes in Unreal Engine 4. In today's episode, I'm going to be going over the Get All Active Class node, what it is, how it works, and how you can use it in your games. So essentially, a Get All Active Class node is just a Cast 2 node, but without having to get the Object Wildcard. So if you're trying to cast to something, but you don't quite know which Object Wildcard to get, and it's quite hard to understand, or for some reason it isn't working, because you may have used it too many times and it isn't working, you can then use the Get All Active Class instead. However, I wouldn't recommend using this as an alternative, so don't not use the cast, instead use this, as it's quite slow. So use this with the knowledge that it's going to get all the actors in the current level, not just the one you want to cast to. And so this can then cause it to be slow and lag out the game eventually, or cause a delay in your code where there shouldn't be one. Therefore again, delaying everything after that when you want it to be quick like that. So for example, don't use this every frame, but you could use it off event begin play or a custom event where it fires off once or once every now and then or something like that. Just don't use it too many times or try to use it too quickly. But again, for something else which isn't too quick, it's perfect for it. So again, it's essentially a cast 2, except it isn't one specific blueprint. It is any blueprint actor of that specified class. So I'm going to come off of event begin play here. And if we then right click as well or come off of this and get all actors of class, here, you see we have class and class with tag or matching tag query. We're just going to go with of class. Obviously with a tag would be any with that tag. But we're just going to go with of class for now. And then I want to get the actors for a blueprint actor that I have for a sword. Now I don't have anything set up in here except one variable just to show you how it works. But if we want to get that, we can put that actor in the actor class here. So if we click this drop down menu here and we can search for our actor we want. So I can get sword BP there. And this out actors here is an array. So this is an array filled with every actor that comes under this actor class that it has found. So what we're going to do is we're going to come out of this and we're just going to get a copy. So get a copy, this green function here, and this now is essentially set up our cast. So this is going to allow us to access anything in this sword blueprint here. Obviously this number here is the index, so the index of the array. So if there's three items in the array, this zero will get item one, or technically item zero, but for us, we would call it one. So what we can do about this is we can either promote it to a variable to get this reference anywhere else, or we can just come out this and we can get or set any variables in here. So I have one for damage, just to show you that you can actually access this like you would with a normal cast. So again, you can do anything you want with this. So again, we can treat it the same as a cast here, apart from remember that this one is slower. So this get here is essentially where it's a as, and then your blueprint on the cast. So as sword BP, for example. So again, obviously you can use this however you like, do whatever you like with this, but this is essentially the basic part of setting it up. You get all actors of class, you put in your blueprint in the actor class you would want here. The out actors is an array filled with every single blueprint actor that it found coming under this actor class here. And then this get a copy will get and allow us to access anything under this actor class with the index that we choose. So again, we can then use this as a cast. However, again, as the Unreal doc say as well, use this with caution as it is a slow operation. So if you're not careful, it could break your game or create latent code. But don't let that put you off using it. Just make sure that you use it in the correct locations and in the correct ways. And not too many times, like I mentioned earlier, for example, on a one-time line of code. So event begin play, or a custom event which would only fire off once, or doesn't fire that often. So essentially it doesn't require a lot of speed to it. As again, this can take a while, as it is getting every single actor in the world. For example, if you're decreasing the speed every second, you'd want to use a cast2 node. As well, this can be quite easy, as it's probably in your character, so you can just use get player character on the cast2. But again, you'd want to use cast2, not get all actors of class. As you're probably doing this off event tick as well, so therefore it's going to need to do this very quickly. Because as I say, it's every second, so this might not be quick enough or a long enough delay in between each time it tries to get all the actors of class. As you're going to be firing it off too quickly for it to handle. But once again, you're essentially casting to a blueprint actor without having to get the object wildcard. But it is also getting every actor under that class in the world. But I think that'll be it for this video and explaining what a get all actors of class node is. I hope you understand it a bit more now. If you do or don't, let me know in the comments down below. I can hopefully help you understand a bit more if you don't understand. Or give you a few more examples at something along those lines. But again, basically, cast two without the object wildcard. And also, if you have any further requests for future nodes you want explaining, put them in the comments down below as well. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. It helps me out more than you think. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.